Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook, and I want to talk to you about the fourth 2023 Doctor Who special, aka the Christmas special. It was called Church on Ruby Road. And as it begins, a stranger leaves a baby girl on the steps of the church on Ruby Road and is named Ruby for having been found there. And the mother was never seen again. 18 years later, Ruby is being interviewed by a show that finds people's families, but the interview is interrupted when the sound guy hears something strange. Suddenly, goblins show up, though no one knows they're there, and start messing with things, causing some lights to fall and some injuries on set. The doctor, meanwhile, is at a club where the gremlins are also messing about on Christmas Eve, and he meets Ruby. The gremlins then almost drop a giant lighted snowman head on a woman as midnight strikes, but the doctor intervenes. Earlier on Christmas Eve, Ruby's neighbor unhappily found the TARDIS in front of her flat as Ruby arrived home from shopping to find her adoptive mom temporarily and suddenly taking in a new foster baby, who is then left with Ruby as her mom pops out to the shops, as the English would say, for some proper sized diapers. Ruby then gets a call from the interviewer saying that her folks couldn't in fact be found, and she's asked if she's had bad luck lately because the interviewer has had a ton of it since she met Ruby. And indeed, a Christmas tree falls on her during the call. Ruby then hears the gremlins on the baby monitor and investigates to find the baby kidnapped and a Polaroid of the gremlin abductor, whom she follows through a skylight onto the roof as they escape by rope ladder up to the sky, causing Ruby to follow, which upsets the doctor who fears for her safety, before he leaps off the next door roof onto the ladder after scolding Ruby for herself doing so. Informs her that the reason they call goblins goblins is because they like to gobble things like babies and for that matter adults. The pair then make it up to the giant goblin pirate ship in the clouds and we learn that goblins bimble through time and look for coincidences to choose their victims and to just mess with people for fun. The goblins find the doctor and Ruby and tie them up but the doctor escapes using tricks he learned from Harry Houdini before sneaking around the ship with Ruby intent on stopping the baby feast, which is being preceded by a rousing goblin song about baby eating. It turns out they're on the giant Goblin King's ship and the baby is headed right for his mouth on a conveyor as the Doctor and Ruby fall onto the belt from the ceiling before singing a song of their own to distract the goblins while they get away with the baby. Ruby tells her mother that her family can't be found and is comforted by her mother. But more coincidences come to light and a large crack forms in Ruby's ceiling as the goblins seem to depart, as does Ruby somehow, who is immediately forgotten by her mom and grandmom, as are many of her mom's prior foster kids, which has made Ruby's mom's life so sad, though she's in denial about it. It turns out the goblins cracked the timeline and went back to steal Ruby as a baby, so the doctor goes back to the night she was left at the church to find the goblins taking her, at which point he intervenes and pulls the ship down by its ladder with special gloves onto the steeple of the church, causing Ruby to be dumped out of the goblin ship in midair before he catches her and leaves her at the church where she is taken in as was intended, as her biological mom walks away seen but not approached by the doctor before he returns to 2023 to find Ruby and all else restored to the way things were before he left. He then goes back in time and stops the tree from hitting the interviewer lady before again returning to Ruby's house in the present, only to leave again without saying goodbye, thinking that maybe he's the reason for the bad luck. Ruby then realizes the doctor is a time traveler based on some things that he said, and runs out to the TARDIS, the door of which opens by itself, beckoning Ruby inside, where she finds the doctor seemingly waiting for her. And that's where the special ended. And I have to say, I loved this special. Russell T. Davies is the man. You know, I got into Doctor Who in the Chris Eccleston era, and the David Tennant Doctor is my favorite Doctor. And, you know, now I know really why that was, at least in large part, because of the writing and the stories. The stuff that came after the Russell T. Davies era started to lose me gradually. And you know, of all of that post Davy stuff, the Chibnall stuff, I think, is what lost me the most, though I did find some of the episodes he, you know, guided into existence to be okay. But Russell T. Davies, man, really hit it out of the park with this special. 
I thought the last three were great as well. But this one was just amazing to me, mostly for the way that they introduced Ruby and, you know, the type of character that she is. And I think for the way the Doctor is being written again and the way he's played by Shakti Gatwa, who I think did an excellent job in this special portraying the Doctor. We got to see a little bit of him as the Doctor at the end of the previous special, but not a whole lot. Here we got him for the whole hour and he just nailed it. I think he nailed it in a way that for me, Peter Capaldi and Jodie Whittaker never really did. So I was very happy about that. I think the introduction of Ruby, in fact, was the best companion introduction since Clara. I think the introduction of Bill and the introduction of the three companions of the Jodie Whittaker Doctor, who I liked, were not handled anywhere near as delightfully as the introduction of Ruby was. I think she's going to be a great companion on the order of Rose and Amy and Clara, my favorite companions, the actresses behind which I've met. And based on this special, I'm totally looking forward to the rest of Shudi Gatwa's run as the Doctor. It just was an excellent special, and I, I'm more psyched for Doctor Who than I have been in a long time. So, there you have it. That's really all there is to say. We're going to get more Doctor Who in the spring of 2024, according to a title card that came up during this special. So, I will, of course, be back to review those episodes once they start coming out. For now, I'm going to get out of here. Until I return, I wish you peace and long life. Thank <laughs> you.